I'll be honest, one of the things that I struggle with the most when creating videos is creating the thumbnail because I'm an editor first and it's something that really frustrates me because no matter how good my videos are, if the thumbnails aren't good enough, people aren't going to come for that greatly edited video. So I thought, why not try to solve this problem while helping you do the same? So we present to you a new weekly series that we'll be uploading every Thursday called Thumbnail Thursday, where I try to recreate popular videos from the YouTube trending page in under 20 minutes. The intent behind the series is quite simple. You get three things out of it. One, hopefully I can teach you enough about Photoshop, Canva, and any other tools out there that will make you an effective thumbnail creator. Two, understanding what it takes to create a thumbnail for a viral video. We will deconstruct each of the thumbnails, understand what goes into creating them and why the thumbnails look like they do. And number three, try to hopefully learn together how to make effective thumbnails quickly. Today's episode is going to be a deconstruction of a thumbnail created by the popular Indian gaming YouTuber, Live Insan. Let's jump right in. So we are quickly going to go to YouTube India's trending page and let's find a thumbnail that's been done by a creator. Okay, let's pick this one. So this seems to be some sort of a gaming thumbnail uh, uploaded 20 hours ago. It already crossed half a million views. So we'll just take this one. So I'm going to copy the link. Thumbnail downloader. Okay, so now we have it in HD. Now we can actually see what all it has. Phasmophobia. Let's just quickly check what Phasmophobia is. So it's like some sort of a horror game series. All right, so obviously that is Live and Sun. I think we have enough information. Um, we are quickly going to download this image and we are going to come in Photoshop. So YouTube thumbnails, if you didn't know, are 1280 by 720. Um, so always have that preset in your Photoshop. So I'm going to create this preset and I am going to create a new artboard. So we are going to bring the original here. So we know what we are working with. Okay, all right. So there are a few elements here that are important to note. First is Live Insan himself. Then we have, I'm just gonna call it game character. We have, uh, we have things that are directly associated by the game, right? So I'm just gonna add it as game elements. And fourth, we have the text. So a great thumbnail has three elements. It needs to have three emotional triggers that let people actually click on it, right? So the emotional triggers here are actually pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna take a soft round brush and change the color. This is a shortcut I recently discovered, but um, the square brackets, the right and left, increase your brush sizes, which is actually pretty helpful. Uh, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna reduce the brush size. So this is element number one, trigger one, right? This is Live Insan himself being the creator, He's the main trigger point. That's what you come for. Uh, the second trigger is the game, right? Which I'm going to combine it with the character and the text, right? Because I'm assuming that the text is from the game itself. So that's trigger number two. And trigger number three, actually, no, I should add these things in it. And trigger number three is the text, right? And if you notice, the text will go with the title. So the title is impossible, no items challenge. And even in the thumbnail, you see the no, uh, no items challenge. We are going to work our way backwards, right? So what's the last layer here? If you notice, the last layer is just a blue layer. We are just going to start with a solid color, right? So in the recreation, I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to say, no, not grouping. And I'm going to say, solid color right and we are going to try to get it actually i should have just picked the colors no let's not do this uh okay what would be a better way i think i can just make a rectangle right that makes sense so i'm going to make this into a rectangle i'm going to fill it choose the color to be the background blue right perfect now I'm gonna come back here, Command T. Command T is for transform. So I'm gonna free transform this and make it as big as my frame. Right, perfect. Now we have the first layer done. Second, we need this cutout of Live and Sun. 
Cool. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just pick another one of his thumbnails and take out his face from there. Right. So I like this thumbnail. I'm going to copy the link. Okay. All right. We have it. So I'm going to download this and bring it over in Photoshop. Right. There's a quick way to uh, identify the subject in any picture. You just go to select and you do subject. I used to before take the selection tool and actually go over everything and select. You don't have to do that at all. Now what I'm going to do is just clean this up a little bit more, right? So W uh, gets you the quick selection tool, which is right here. I'm going to make this uh, select the subtraction and subtract Virat Kohli and Alia Bhatt. Guess the song. His thumbnails are really good, man. But anyway, uh, and we're going to go back to edition and clean it up and get all of these end parts. So while you are in selection, you can just right click and do layer via copy, right? So we're just going to remove this older layer and clean this up a little bit more. So you can select L, which is the lasso tool uh, that can just, that just helps you delete things quickly, right? So command D is uh, deselect. Okay, so we have we have his face now. Now what we need is all the phasmophobia stuff. So I'm going to go uh, to Google and just type phasmophobia and go to images, right? Okay, this is a great image. Uh, so I'm gonna save this image to downloads. I'm gonna come to Photoshop and quickly bring this image back in. Okay, so you can't see. Uh, sometimes when you download images, they don't download as JPEGs. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can import them in Photoshop. Nonetheless, uh, Photoshop just reads it by itself. So I'm just going to quickly say yes, uh, expand this and come and command enter to place it, uh, with the, with the layer selected, we are going to go to select and do subject. So hopefully it should select. Yup. It did beautiful. We are going to go to WL, whatever, one of the selection tools right click and do layer via copy, right? And I'm going to delete the older layer. Now, if you see command T to expand it, sorry, that's the wrong layer. Command T to make it bigger and enter, right? Okay, so now we have part of it done. Uh, now what we need is this phasmophobia text. Phasmopho phasmophobia, phasmophobia, okay. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but cool. Now we need this text, right? So again, same thing, save image to downloads, go to Photoshop, bring it in. Okay. Now we're just going to make it bigger. Enter. Go down here. Select. Now I've never done this with text. Uh, so let me see how to, okay. I don't know how to select text off of, okay, there's another quicker way. There's another quick way to select things. Um, so obviously one thing that you can do is select the subject and whatever else is here, uh, focus area, sky, all of that. But this color range part is also really helpful, right? So what I'm going to do is click on color range and select this white. This is particularly helpful in this instance because um, in the whole picture, there's only white. The only white is the text. If that was not the case, then we would have had to find another way. But since the only white is the text, we can quickly select that, press OK, and it selects just the text, if you notice, right? But the problem here is that uh, if you see, it hasn't selected all of the white. So we are going to deselect it, go back to select, do color range, and increase the fuzziness a little bit, right? Now when I press OK, you'll notice that it expands the selection. Right, we're going to do it again, hopefully with a larger fuzziness. Press OK. Now I'm just going to press W, right click, do layer by a copy, and I'm just going to see how this looks. Okay, this doesn't look bad, but again, it's not fully visible. If you zoom out, it's not fully visible. Right, so we're going to do it again and increase the fuzziness further. So hopefully if I increase it further, it should be able to pick up 
more of the text layer by a copy close this yeah it's a little bit better right so with this text i'm going to zoom out a little bit uh okay so this is not exactly clear so what i'm going to do is just copy paste it and paste it on top of each other see that is so much better now i'm just going to combine these two layers which is uh, control e or command e and we are going to bring this down is it the right size i think it needs to be a little bit bigger so command t control t to make it bigger bring it down free transform it a little bit and get it here right cool also you'll notice that uh, our our game character is a little bit uh, is quite bright so we are quickly going to just select that layer go to adjustments and reduce the brightness right and we are going to combine this so command e this layer with the brightness so it only applies to that layer okay now that's much better uh, now we need the text right so we need the no items challenge uh, this seems to be some sort of Okay, I think Arial should work, but let's see. So, no items challenge. And we are going to change the text to not Helvetica, Arial Black. And it seems to be. So we're going to bring this here. And we are going to reduce the spacing, right? So we will reduce the spacing. Is that the same? Let me see if I can find the right font. If not, we will have to go with this. Okay, we'll just go with this for now. Uh, the font is not great. It's also italics for some reason. I don't know. It shouldn't be italics. Mm. Okay, I don't think I can fix this in time. But okay, let's let's just get the coloring part right. So we'll just go to yellow, pick a bright yellow, enter, V, place it on the right. And now we need another rectangle, which is U. And I'm going to place it behind it. So stroke is none. Fill is black. And press U again and make it into a proper rectangle and place it below the text. Right. So a few things are still remaining. Obviously, all of this part the red circle and more importantly that gradient that zoom effect type thing uh, so that will be an overlay this is a zoom overlay so i just i just typed zoom effect overlay photoshop and it just popped up right so i'm quickly going to download this one go to photoshop and add it here So recreation, it's here. Okay, now we need to expand this so it fits the screen. The background here is black, right? But we want this to be as an overlay on top of our picture. So we're going to come here besides opacity and change this and just see what happens when we change it to different colors. To be very honest, I don't actually know how this works, but I just know that this is what you need to change. So clearly when we come to lighten or screen or one of these other ones, uh, it's working. So we'll just see which one is the best. I think screen is the best. And you'll notice that it's very faint. It's not as obvious as we have here. That's for a few reasons. One, um, the cutout of Live and Sun is actually on top of this overlay. So we are going to bring this overlay back down to the bottom. Yeah, see, that's so much better. And also we are going to reduce the opacity a little bit, right? So we'll bring it down to 50% and 
and now if you see now it is much similar to what we have there uh, cool so the only only thing that's remaining right now is these things here right all of all of these objects that are there in the game so we are going to quickly do another google search of objects i'll need to do a bit of research to know what all objects are there okay this one is good this one is pretty good i think this is one of the hardest parts of creating the thumbnail because if you don't know the context of that creator or the audience you don't know where to get these objects from perfect so we have the cross here so i'm going to download this one then let's just see what else live and sun had phasmophobia torch okay that's also pretty good so we are going to download this image phasmophobia gunshot salt wow i don't know you needed salt in, in this game what kind of a game is this now i'm now i'm curious now i want to play it too perfect now we have the salt we have all of our elements now i just need to bring them here cool make this bigger select uh, subject let's see if it selects perfect minus this okay and i'm going to go back to w and i'm going to do the addition and i'm going to add okay no it's not going to work with w um so how quick selection works it's it looks at the contrast between what's there in the picture and it just selects whatever it differentiates things using that contrast so clearly things are not very contrasty towards the end here so i'm just going to use the lasso tool i should know this uh, but like i said i am also a beginner i'm i'm not an expert in photoshop i just know enough to get around that's kind of the point that's all you really need um all all you really need is you know enough to get around and that's more than sufficient to create really good thumbnails so now i'm going to do command t and come towards the corner where you see these two arrows and i'm going to rotate this so i'm going to rotate this and i want to flip it so i'm going to place it and i'm going to flip it horizontally clicking this two arrows across the vertical axis okay let us zoom out so that's i think that's perfectly placed as well uh, now let's go to this one perfect now what i want to do is if you notice i'll make these things smaller i'll rotate this a little bit like this and i want to make this cross a little more lighter because if you notice it's really dark so i'm going to go to adjustments here i'm going to go to brightness yeah perfect but um like we saw earlier as well the brightness applies to the whole to all the layers below where you apply it so i'm going to i'm going to select the brightness and the layer below it that's a cross and do command e so it only applies it merges that with the layer right below it uh perfect now what we need is a big red circle so we're going to take the ellipse tool create this circle bring it here press u again which is um the ellipse tool or the shape tool essentially and i'm going to change the fill to 0 right uh no fill and i want to uh no fill and i'll go to the stroke and make it red now I'm going to press V to move tool command T to make it a little smaller. So we have it here and I'm quickly going to group all of these things, right? So grouping is really helpful because then you can just move the whole group around and I'm going to call this objects. Perfect. Now if you notice, it's <laughs> it's fairly similar. It's that's that's really good. Now we need to make this a little bigger because I'm assuming This is an important part of the game. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That is an amazing recreation. Okay, I'm going to delete the original and bring back 
Look at that. Wow, I'm impressed with myself. This was the first episode in a new series that I'll be doing called Thumbnail Thursday, where every Thursday I pick a viral thumbnail and recreate it in front of you in under 20 minutes. Hopefully, this series will help you understand what it takes to make the thumbnails of your favorite creators that go viral. So subscribe to us down below to not miss out the next episode. I'll see you next Thursday. Peace.